is see these molds that we have? Yeah. Those are cancer. Yeah, they start off as cancer, then the body shuts it down. Yeah. It's called apoptosis. So the body has a mechanism for shutting down the cancers around the body. So just like you have these molds, when they do a biopsy of the prostate, yeah. what they really biopsy in is they're finding these molds, cancerous tumors that have long stopped, 30, 40 years ago. In other words, if you took any of these molds off of any one of us, you put them under the microscope, you will see cancer cells. So the pathologist would read it as cancer, but it, it's their cancerous cells the way they turned out, but they have stopped growing 40 years ago. Mm. So it's not an active cancer. When they do the biopsy on the prostate, most of those cancer, most of those moles they see, they, they section and they see a section. They say, oh, these, these are, they look cancerous and those cells are cancer looking. But they haven't, they have, they have long stopped growing 40 years ago. So most of the, most of the, uh, those tumors that they do a biopsy in men over 50, those are benign tumors. They're not active tumors. So you don't even have to act on it. But they're not going to tell you that. Because you have to do this procedure to make money. So that, I'm just saying, let me just explain that to you. That, that's just from the beginning. You can ignore most of those molds. The Cancer Society, in this society, even admitted you should not use the PSA. So the PSA, if you get, if you get a high PSA, it doesn't mean anything. Because there are about 10 different things that give you a high PSA long before cancer. Long before a cancer. So what happens is the doctor get a PSA of 7. Say the normal is 4 or 5. Doesn't mean you have cancer. If you have to rule out infection, enlargement, chemicals in your food, chemicals in your water, smoking, cigarettes, exercise, stress, stress all of these things will damage the prostate and drive up your PSA. Uh. Instead of the doctor, when you get a PSA, of seven, instead of him saying, well, okay, let's run down the most common things, that's a high PSA. No, he jumps right to cancer because that's mm. where the money is. Right. The money is right. in the biopsy yep. and the money is in treatment, mm. not in differentiate. Okay, right. so you get a PSA of seven. <laughs> so the first thing you should do is repeat it. Make sure there's not lab error. Right. Right. Then you do it again to make sure they didn't mix it up with somebody else. Exactly. Then if you wait six weeks, 50% or more right. of the people with high PSA go down. will go back to normal. Right. Doctor, don't take you through any of that. Right. Now, there was this European doctor. His name is Gab Gabor Monte. He's a psychiatrist in, uh, up in Canada. And when he went through the statistics, the statistics are there, but they don't tell you. He said when they factor in the fact that we, as black men, do not go to the doctor to get any kind of, uh, what you call, diagnosis long after the white men. So they're saying if you factor in the fact that we go late, it's less than 5%. Where they say us black men is double whites. Okay? So that's that's 100% greater. That's what they say. But they have done the studies where if you factor in the fact that we go late, the only difference between going late and early is less than 5%, so that doesn't factor in. When they factored in diet, they find it's 5 or 10%, not 100 But you know what they definitely find? That the stress that black men are under in this country, the psychological stress with all of the other biochemical stresses that go along with it, that is the most common factor in increasing our chances of prostate cancer. They say, why? Because when they did the samples on Nigerian men, the Nigerian men, our cancer rate is seven times our brothers and sisters on the continent. Yeah, exactly. It's the stress. It's the stress. It's the stress, it's the stress, and the stress with all the facts. But the Cancer Society isn't going to say that. There's no they, money to say They want to say, well, we know stress is really the major factor between the difference between prostate cancer in black men in the United States and prostate cancer in that. So they just tell you you're more prone to it. Or they'll tell you uh, you come late. And that's what you're acting on. But you're acting on information that does not, does not reflect what is actually the reality. Again, a PSA means nothing. Even the Cancer Society says. Why? Because they said the men who get 
the PSA and go to surgery, they're dying. You get a sample of men who don't get PSA, mm -hmm. who get a PSA. You get 100 men with PSA, high. 50 men who do not go for any treatment and 50 men who go for treatment, the ones going for treatment are dying or faster than if you left the men alone. Right. Dr. Did, you, the second, did, you, did you read the article in the New York Times that said exactly what you said? Well, the studies show it. It's you just did a, that they don't... the series of the New York yeah. Times said the same thing you said. But the studies show it. They just don't tell you the truth on the radio, in the clinics, and in the doctor. Dr. Dr. They don't bring that information to you. The other Dr. thing is, Dr. if you over 65, Dr. right? The prostate cancer is not going to kill you. Nah. Because okay, it's so innocuous. Most men, 80-90% of men who come to autopsy, who never had... I know. You know the deal is. You, know. you can easily deal okay. with it. I'm listening because to this. most of the time, you don't have a prostate cancer. Most of the time, you have a high PSA mm. for certain reasons. Right. And, they, and when they do the biopsy, they come up with a benign tumor. And they put the two together. High PSA, benign tumor, we have to do something. No, that's a benign tumor. You don't have to do anything. Dr. And second, Dr. if you take care of those factors that reduce your PSA, the, the, the water, the whole bit. So that, that's what I'm saying about that. But they rush the people. They do that surgery, they don't care. Dr. Arthur Lewis, what is PSA? Prostate-specific antigen. Oh. Okay. What is